we're just uh, finally boarding our plane to uh, Ambai. It was about an hour long delay and uh, we've come out of the terminal and apparently uh, we're not boarding an Air Vanuatu flight, we're um, apparently travelling to the Solomon Islands, um, so who knows. Okay, flight number three is officially done and we are at Longana Airport in Ambai. Uh, we'll uh, wait for the vehicle to come and uh, pick us up from Longana Airport to Ambanga Village. That's the last village before hiking to Manaru Volcano. Right, next stop is the shop. Uh, we've got to get some supplies. Hopefully they've got uh, plenty of water there. Then we need to go and find a whole bunch of porters um, to help carry all of the gear up. So supplies have been bought, we're stocked up on plenty of water and uh, we just come down to the beach here. Yeah. Uh, Yes, we've got a bit of a problem here again. The road is just impassable. The driver doesn't think he can get up here at all. Uh, we've got a lot of gear. He's uh, agreed to try it. We've all jumped off. So we've come up with a plan, maybe, we're going to get this uh, quad bike here to hopefully uh, load up all the gear and get us up there. So transfer some of the bags uh, onto the quad and uh, solve that problem for now. Wow. It is so damn hot right now. Anyway, we're slogging up and you might be able to see behind me here uh, the quad bike is following us in pursuit with a whole bunch of porters. Supposedly, this 2k walk uh, has turned into, I'd say, a 5k walk, and we're still are not there. And it is exhausting, it's uphill all the way, uh, so hot. Okay, so we, uh, we've made it to the uh, guest house, it took a little bit longer, we had to climbed over 550 meters just to get there. Um, had a quick break, and now we are off again, 20 minutes more to go and meet the chief. Uh, the chief has to apparently give his blessing, make sure that we're safe. So uh, this is the Nakamau uh, ceremony and uh, we are um, on this side of the building but the other side of the building is Tapu. So there has to be a uh, ceremony um, which will happen shortly and then we'll be permitted to go on the other side uh, and interact with uh, some of the locals uh, and have some kava as well. You are qualified to you can go and sit around in this area. Today is trekking to the volcano Manaro Lakes. So we should arrive there by uh, midday and we set up our camping tent then start the exploration of the volcano and the lakes. Okay well it's just gone uh, quarter past eight and uh, we have started the trek up Mount Monaro. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, we've just made it uh, near the summit. Uh, behind me here, uh, there used to be a jungle and uh, the eruptions from 2017 and 2018 completely wiped it out. And what you've seen here is just the skeleton of that once former uh, jungle. But it is regenerating pretty quickly. As you can see, there's uh, quite a bit of green foliage coming through uh, since that eruption happened. So from here, uh, we've got a little bit further to go and then we'll be actually entering the uh, crater area. Welcome to the Manaro, and here we go. As this is the entrance of the cape to the first lake, Lake Gesa. This would have been hit by a pyroclastic flow here. So we have the uh, tent set up now. Uh, still quite drizzly. Uh, we're really, really hoping that this uh, passes. We've got um, three days here, so we're very hopeful that uh, it'll clear up. And. Uh, sort of set up a very rudimentary base camp here. This tarp here has um, seen better days. <laughs> a few years ago there was a uh, significant series of eruptions um, that created a considerable lateral blast through this area and uh, all the vegetation you see behind me uh, has just been wiped out, destroyed, uh, so it's a pretty dangerous area. So uh, this is uh, Lake Kesa, what a remote place on our planet to be able to come here, what a privilege as well. Um, so I'm just going to uh, dunk my fingers in here and uh, oh yeah that is, I mean it's not um, boiling hot but it certainly is quite warm. So this is a uh, Lake of Lapilli, it's just incredible. It's quite warm. So now we're just uh, coming over to Lake Vui. Don't do this at home, folks. It's so one of my uh, mantras of traveling, uh, coming to the places where no one or very, very few people come at all. And uh, this place here is certainly one of them. If you see behind the Tefra ring there, you'll see the original walls of the caldera, which extend right around, uh, all around, all around, all around here. A number of years ago, there would have been a cone built, uh, which has divided the lakes. 300 years ago, uh, there was a very, very significant eruption around here uh, that blew out the entire cone, the original cone that was here, and uh, created the lake that you see here. And come the 2017-2018 eruption, um, that cone you see there was created. Pink. Nice. <laughs> a 
this is day four and it's pretty bleak uh, last night it just rained and rained and rained and rained the tent uh, was leaking things were getting wet uh, it's pretty rough here but uh, this is what happens on volcano expeditions so as you can see uh, almost full whiteout conditions again uh, this morning uh, it's not ideal but uh, all we can do is just hope that uh, the weather improves today subject to the weather of course we are going to go and get as close as we possibly can uh, to the crater of Mount Monaro well it's just gone uh, 1 p.m. and uh, it's just been like this all day unfortunately uh, complete whiteout conditions everywhere uh, it's not been good so anyway we are um, gonna have some lunch and we're gonna head up anyway and just hope that uh, when we're up there it will clear and we'll actually get a good view <laughs> Well, it's clearing up sort of here we go the plan is is to head down there and uh, get right to the lip of the crater and look inside there Well, the gas has come. Uh, the SO2 hydrogen sulfide gases are uh, becoming thicker and thicker, harder to breathe. So I've got the uh, gas mask out, the helmet on now. This is when things are starting to get a bit uh, sketchy. Oh, yeah. So, um, here we are, wow. So these lava flows that you see here are uh, just three weeks old. We finally made it to the uh, lip of this uh, new cone on Ambai here. Only three weeks ago there was a lake here, uh, quite a high lake. Then um, an eruption happened and there was quite significant fire fountaining. The lake has, has completely gone and uh, now we're left with this sort of smoldering and still very very hot but cooling lava. We're now heading down to uh, the lake, Lake Vui. And here we are, just cleared up, just in time.